What's up guys, we are out here at the airport today. And as you can see behind me, today is gonna be a paramotor video. Actually, I guess I'll be flying the paramotor, but it's not gonna be about paramotor. So um, the airplane is down again. Um, don't know what's going on. Uh, we'll get into that when we get in the air. Hopefully it's not a big issue, but um, like I said, we'll go over that. Um, but we are gonna get ready, get the paramotor all set up. I have to take it apart to fit it at the back of the truck, so I'm reassembling it right now. I'm gonna put the 140 centimeter prop on it today because I'm feeling frisky. Um, so I'm gonna get that done and we're gonna get in the air. Peace. All right, I realize it's been a while since I've been on the paramotor. So I'll give you guys a, just a quick rundown. I have tons of videos on my channel about this paramotor if you guys wanna go back and actually learn more about it. But let me tell you a little bit about it real quick. All right, so this is my paramotor. It is a Pluma. It's the second version of the Pluma. On the back, it's got the Moster 185, the factory edition Moster 185. So super sexy, a little bit more power, a bunch of other changes to it. Um, on the back here, I've got a 140 centimeter prop. As you can see, it really doesn't fit this cage. Um, actually, it sticks out further than the cage. So kind of dangerous to run this prop on this um, paramotor. So you gotta be careful, but you get so much more power and it's a ton more fun with the factory R with this, um, I think it's a Viterazzi actually. Um, 140 centimeter prop so super sick prop super sick engine um got my fuel indicator down here you guys know i like these they help um you know when the fuel gets to about here tuck this little taggy in here I don't know. um you know you're getting a little bit low you see it down here you got to get back so really nice real nice feature of this paramotor um side mount reserve i forget what it is even uh probably get it need to get it repacked haven't done that in a couple of years and then, yeah, standard harness. So, there's my perimeter. Oh, it's all carbon fiber. And I'm pretty sick. Got some strobes up on top so you can fly 30 minutes after sunset if you want to. It's all part 103. No license required. It's considered an ultralight. So, let's get up there. See you up there. Was right this prop is definitely too big for this uh, cage I heard it uh, nicking my the lines of my wing as it was coming up because I put the power on too quick which is what I'm used to doing but when you launch this this um, let's pick a prop on this frame you need to wait to get on the power until the wings all the way up overhead but I didn't do that so and my camera fell out of my front pocket here I've got a 360 cam that's strapped to my chest and it fell out <laughs> Luckily it didn't fall, it just hit me in the leg as I was running, so no problem. Let's get some altitude, get these cameras set up, and we'll wait for Andy to get in the air. Woo! <laughs> I love this engine, man. Climb rate is insane. Alright. Oh my god, what a gorgeous day. Oh. seen that happen I would have never found it oh my I think my prop cut it in half all right where is it all right it's right over here after the trees here's how we're gonna find it because from the air when you drop things it's impossible to find so okay here's the dip in the trees so water 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 dip in the trees keep going You've hit this tree, you've gone too far. The only tree sticking up. And it's right. There's, oh, okay, falling down tree, go past that. Dip, go past the falling down tree. Then the white spot, there it is. White spot on the ground. It's the next anthill. Falling tree, next anthill. I'll remember that. That is freaking hilarious. I'm not gonna land and get it right now. Cause I gotta walk it all the way back. 
That is hilarious. I can look up and see the string hanging off. I can't wait to see the video footage of that. Well, at least I got another two cameras on here. That's too funny. <laughs> I bet that's gonna look hilarious. <sighs> Let's get into it while we're ripping around here waiting for Andy to get off the ground. So airplane news. First thing is I finally found an IFR instructor. Uh, down payment, actually full payment made. Um, we're on this, I'm on the schedule, he's coming down here, he's gonna fly with me two days, and then we're both not free, then fly with me for another two days. Unlimited flying on those four days, check right at the end of that. I've got my written exam scheduled for like two weeks from now, three weeks from now, so it gives me plenty of time to study, I'll be good to go. So I'm really excited about that, finally getting that done. What I'm doing now is building hood time, so flying up my friends under the hood, building hood time. Story about that. I was building hood time, night cross country hood time actually, two nights ago in my plane. And we flew all the way out to North Carolina, everything went fine, and then on the flight home, about halfway back, I lost my generator. Not a huge deal for my plane, my AV30, I only have one AV30 in there right now, the other one is being fixed, but the AV30 runs off of batteries, all my other backup instruments that I've been flying on are vacuum. So everything works in the plane. I just shut my GPS off because I knew where I was going anyways. Had my iPad on me as a backup. Wasn't flying actual IFR, so I was able to do that. Just shut it off and um, use the iPad for a nav and my backup radio. And uh, we only consumed a third of a volt on the like the entire rest of the flight. So not a huge deal, but a bummer because I don't know what the issue is. It was intermittent a couple flights ago, but then it kept working and I never really looked into it. Probably should have. You know, I wouldn't have obviously gone on a long trip with it like that but since I was flying local I was like well it's working let's just keep flying but I definitely need to get it fixed now figure out what the problem is I'm hoping it's a loose wire from the starter installation maybe something happened there because like I said on the flight out where we were flying it was working just fine so um, I need to get that sorted out but airplanes down again yeah is what it is man that's, that's airplane ownership so I'm not trying to complain about it all right let's see if we can identify this from the ground all right, so if I was walking, I'd be here. Okay, here's the dip in the trees. I'll know that. Second anthill, it should be right here. No, it's not that anthill. It's that anthill. And there it is in the trees. Cool. Chase cam with GoPro attached to it in the trees. We're all good. Check the runway. No one's on final. Safe to cross. So yeah, man, perfect excuse to get back on the paramotor. Um, really trying to make really productive use of my free time. And what I do in my free time is fly, it's all I do. And by free time, I mean time that I'm not um, taking my kids to jujitsu practice or working or hanging out with my wife or hanging out with my kids. That all comes first, that's non-negotiable stuff. So free time is, is this here, where I have none of that going on. And since I want to fly for a living, I try to make really good use of that. So I try to be flying XC, building nighttime, hood time, training. But since I can't do that today, I have a great excuse to go up on the paramotor and have fun, because this doesn't help me in any way <laughs> achieve my goal of flying professionally. This is just fun. Looks like Andy's up. My buddy Andy, the guy I'm flying with, coolest guy ever. C-17 pilot, flies for Delta, which is international. Uh, incidentally, he's like the nicest guy in the world, so. And he likes pair motors, so. He's got that going for him. All right, another check of the runway. Good. I can't get over the, uh, the chase cam. I just happened to look back over my shoulder and I saw what I thought was a bird, like diving at me, and it was my chase cam twirling toward the ground. Which, like I said, if I didn't see it happen right there, it's in the woods. I was never finding that camera, ever. Ever. I would have looked up and seen it was gone, and your guesses would be as good as mine type of thing. I would never have found it if I didn't see it, so I got lucky. A little tip-up action. Andy's so fast on this wing. Boop. I know. I just told him my chase cam was gone. I told him I know. Andy knows all the Air Force signals. I only know the Navy ones. 
<laughs> you guys, what a beautiful freaking night. Not explore the world like this in an airplane. it out to Holly Hill camera died in the air a gorgeous day man so beautiful this is a little grass strip airport Holly Hill Airport out in South Carolina I used to come here a lot in my Cessna my 150 I have not been here in the Mooney and I probably wouldn't um, just because I'm looking at the, the grass it's fine for the Cessna but there's like big like anthill mounts and stuff I wouldn't want to bring the Mooney back here with the tractable landing gear Andy and I are going to head home, and I'm going to freeze my ass off because I didn't wear long sleeves. Oh, we're going to go find that camera. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> I think if you come all the way out on this side, it should be okay. What are you doing? <laughs> Recovering a chase cam that I think I cut off while flying. So we're looking for the, the woods to turn back in. Then there's a tree that's fallen. If you hit the first tree that's up, you've gone too far. And there's, an, there's two ant hills, and it's the furthest ant hill. That's where it's at. Oh my god. Hold on. Oh, and your muddy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Should roll up the window. Yeah. That was oh. nothing. That was nothing, dude. I've never off-roaded this car before. This, is, this thing's doing great. Okay, that's where it cuts in. Then there's a fallen tree in between here. It's in the woods? Yeah. All right, it should be like right here. It's only like 10 feet in the woods though. Like we should be able to see it from here. <laughs> look out, look at it. That's what she said. <laughs> Michael. Michael. I know it's so thick. We're, well, yeah, here's what we'll do. All right, let's All right. go. <laughs> All right, so there was, no, no, no. It's like, it's like, okay. So there's this ant hill. And, oh yeah. Is it muddy? And it's, okay, it's this ant hill and in like 10 feet. No, no, no. Hey. No, we should see it from, from here. It's, it's right here. So, oh, I found it. Yeah, I found it. Oh my God, this is so thick, dude. Oh, dude, this is all like. Yeah, careful, there's thorns. Oh, I see it in the trees. <laughs> okay, now 
Is the camera still going? It is! <laughs> nice! <laughs> no way, dude! <laughs> yes! Got it back. Hell yeah, dude. Hour and 50 minutes. Perfect. <laughs> Yeah, dude, just a clean cut. I think I sliced it with the prop. Yeah, you have to watch the footage. Yeah, this will be quite cool to watch. All right, well, we made it back. Camera recovered. First time ever having mud on my truck. I'm okay with it. <laughs> Look at that sunset. Wait a minute. Ooh. But yeah, that'll be it for this one. Um, if you guys like it, don't forget to like, subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram if you want to, all that jazz. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.